that never goes out by the Smiths. I am in standard tuning and we're covering a simple strumming version of this song and we're playing this with a capo at the fourth fret which is how I've seen Johnny Marr play this in many a YouTube video and live. Uh, he does a little bit more picking on the electric guitar. As I say we're doing an acoustic strumming version which you could just strum along to on electric as well. Um, we've got a couple of chord options in this but the main chords in the song um, looking at the verse first of all, our A minor, all proportionate to that capo. We have an F chord, which we will cover some options with in a second, a C chord, and a G. Okay, so the F chord first of all is the, the chord that's going to give people the most trouble. You can do the much easier F major 7 for this entire song, every F chord that you see on a chord sheet, which I'll link to in the description below, any F chord that you see in this song, it is fine to use this, uh, I nickname it F like a C with students, but this is a C chord, and if we move that middle finger down and the third finger down, that F, which is called an F major 7, would be absolutely fine. Even better if you can use a bar chord, especially to get a lot of um, bar chord, you know, working, working that one out. Especially just to get a little bit more bar chord practice in, if that's what you're, you're needing in your kind of guitar playing. Um, but there is also this hybrid as well, where if we play the bar chord but we keep the second, third and fourth fingers down, we can also play this F chord where we can mute with the thickest string and have that first finger barring just the thinnest two strings. With the G chord, many people default to playing a G like this. Many people play this G with a third and little finger down, which is kind of the Wonderwall G. I would default to playing this G, which is the same as the first one, but with fingers two, three, and four only. We're not using this first finger. And that's because it's easier to change between the C and the F because those two middle two fingers are in exactly the same place. That would be my top tips with the chords, but when you're drilling the changes, be conscious of which one that you're, you're going for. Um, strum and pattern is trickier. In reality, what I'm doing and what would, would be done kind of by the pros is making sure, or what, what most pros kind of aim to do anyway, I should say, I uh, don't want to be too presumptive, is doing an eighth strumming pattern and catching most of them so the most important thing here is that your right hand is always moving to the rhythm of one and two and three and four and per each bar. For example, that would be for every verse, C and F, and that was using the uh, easier F option, all the easier chord options really. So the strumming pattern that I would recommend goes more like this. Notice really clearly that my hand was always moving. So my hand is still moving just like this. But dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, da, da, dun. And if I accidentally do any more strums, so catch them all or miss out too many, as long as my hand's still moving, it's all right. I know where the beat is. One slow demo uh, with that chord sequence.
intro, the bit that first starts the song, was a D minor, F, 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 G, G. And then we're going to that verse. F like a C, the, the easier F major 7 is fine, F bar chord's fine, any way of playing an F major chord is absolutely fine. As an example, two, three, four. And then we're into a verse. Well worth pausing the video and practicing just that because that is um, a really cool bit. Um, there's a little bit extra strumming on the D minor if we just listen to the acoustic guitar on the recording. That was down, down, up, down. Which would go two, three, four. and that's a little bit more accurate to, to that um, original recording. In the chorus we have the same and a little bridge, the intro is used as a little bridge to that um, uh, chorus section and then we have the C chord which is really the, the key of this song is, is the key of C. F, G and A minor, D minor, all in the key of C. Really important to, to note that one, especially with the tutorials I'm uploading right now. You could default to just down, down, up, up, down for this one. That'd be the easiest way to do it. And for it to still sound. I think that's the best option. chords one more time just to be clear so you can practice that chorus or a C chord, A minor, any way how you want to play an F, G, C, F, D minor. Let's have a strum through this song together We'll just go from the very intro to the end of the first chorus, similar to how I demoed at the start of this video, but I won't miss any lyrics out or anything. We won't shorten any, se any sections. And if you get from the intro to the end of the first chorus, you can be confident that you can crack this song. Let's play it together. We start with the D minor, and I'm also gonna be going for the easier F, and this way of playing the G throughout, because that would be the chords that I would recommend if you're struggling. From the D minor in one, Two, three, four, one strum. Two, three, four. F, 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 G, G, A minor. Take me out tonight. Where there's music and there's people and they're young and alive. Driving in your car. To go home, cause I haven't got one anymore. Take me out tonight, because I want to see people and I want to see life. Driving in your car Oh, please don't drop me home Because it's not my home, it's their home I'm welcome no more And E minor F, 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 F And it's double-decker bus Ratchets into us by your side It's such a heavenly time And if it's in some truck Kills the both of us To die by your side Where well, the pleasure of the is mine And that's where we'll leave it there 
Uh, I've got a couple of other Smith songs filmed on my website, including a strumming version of This Charming Man, which would be well worth checking out. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and let me know your song requests in the description below. Hope to see you again on this Andy Guitar YouTube channel.